Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. In today's video, we are going to talk more on file handling. So, in this video will be the file handling part 3 video. If you haven't watched the part 1 and the part 2 video, I'll give the link in the description below. You can go ahead and watch that. In part 1 video, we talked about the write and the append mode. In my second part, we talked about a read mode and one example where we were using all the read mode, the write mode and uh, we were doing an example with that. So this in this third video, we are going to see more of the modes and we are going to see how you if you forget the close statement, this is a very important statement as I have told you before in the third in the uh, in the second and the first part, this can create a problem for you because it is going to take all the resources and this file is not going to close by itself. So for this, we are going to use with a statement. Now, sometimes what happens is uh, when you write a long code in that code, suppose you have opened some file, but just because it is a long code, you forget to close that file. So in that case, we are going to use the width statement to solve this problem. So let's begin. So first of all, this was the code that was uh, that we were doing in the part two video. Okay, so first of all, let me just clear these lines. Okay, so let these two lines be there. Here, we were using the read mode in the first one and the second one was for the write mode. So this was the output file and this was the main file that we were used with, that we were using to open and read the file. So now let us uh, talk about more modes. So another mode which is very popular and people use most of the time is R plus and the second mode is the W plus. So this is the read plus and the write plus mode. So till now we have talked about the R mode which is the read mode, W mode which is the write mode, A mode which is the append mode. And now we are seeing these two more modes, which is R plus, which is the read plus mode and the W plus, which is the W plus mode. So here, if I write R plus, so what this is going to do is this is if you write R plus, now this will allow you to read and write both in your current file. So if you see here test.txt, this is going to read and now you can edit this file as well. So if it was R mode, you can only read this test.txt file, but you cannot write that. You cannot update that or you cannot write that. But if you use R plus mode, this will allow you to read plus write both the features are will be allowed onto this test.txt file. The same thing happens here, W plus mode. If you use W plus mode, what this is going to do is it is going to, it is also going to write the test.out dot txt and also it will allow you to read the test out dot txt. So in this case, now you may have a doubt that this w plus and this r plus mode are the same, right? Then what is the difference between this r plus and the w plus? Why we use r plus and w plus in different places? So the real meaning for r plus is it can read and write both. But in this case, if you use a write R plus, then it is going to only uh, read and write it if this file is present on your uh, this path or not. That means if the file is not present, this test.txt file is not present on this part, this is going to give us an error. This is going to throw us an error. It will say that the file is not present and it cannot read the file. So the first priority will be the reading and the writing. That means the first priority will be the read mode. So if the file is present, then only it can read and write that file. All right. So it cannot create the file. It can only read the file if that file is present. But the but if we talk about this W plus, if suppose this file is not present, then what it will do is it will create this file and then it will read and write both on that file. It can read also, it can write also. And plus, if this file is not present onto this path, what this W plus mode is going to do, this is going to create this test out.txt on this particular path and then it can read and write it. But if you use R plus, if the file is not present, it is not going to, it is going to give us an error. It is not going to do anything. It is give, it is going to give us an error. So this is the main difference between the read mode and the write mode, the read plus and the write plus mode. So let us say 
I'm going to delete this thing. So let us say uh, temporarily, let's just delete this test dot out. I am going to delete this as well. And now you see it should give us an error. Why it should give us an error? Because we have deleted this file test.txt file. Now this R plus mode can only read the file if that file is present or not. So since the file we have deleted, this test.txt file has been deleted, it should give us an error. But if we talk about this, uh, this statement right here, just because testout.txt is not there, it is going to create that test dot, uh, test out txt. So let us um, run it. If I run this, you can see it is going to give us an error. Trace back uh, file, most recent, uh, most recent call last, which is file not found error. So it has given the error. You can see just because that file is not there, that is why it is not, it has given us the error. But this file is, this command did not execute it just because we have an error on this file. So let us now undo it, undo delete. You can see uh, we have brought our test.txt file back and still now we, uh, we don't have the test out.txt which we deleted uh, before. I am going to just uh, run this code again and let me show you what now this is going to do is it should not give us an error but it should be executed properly because now the test.txt file is present back and it is going not going to give us an error it is going to go to the read mode and then it can also write that but here uh, in this test out this test out is not present but this w plus what is going to do is it is going to create this test out.txt no matter it is present or not so let us run it. You can see that this time we didn't get an error, but if we see the directory, you can see that test out.txt is present. So it created the test out.txt though it was not there just because we were using this w plus command. So this is how you can use the r plus and the w plus command, the different different modes, the more modes. So now let me move on to the other topic. Let us say, uh, one more thing that I forgot here is f dot close, right? We didn't close the file, so that is why. Just because we were, exp I was explaining this, so I was, uh, I forgot to close this file. That is why, and also I have only closed this file, but I have not closed the f out file. Out file. So here I am going to write f out dot close. So every time I have opened a file, I have to close that file as well. So this is a very important part. So if I can run it again, now it is going to properly open the file and then close the file. So you saw that I forgot this uh, close but close thing, right? So for that, we are going to see solution, what we can do. Now, suppose you have a very large program. There, you will obviously forget to write this f.close, right? So that time, what we can do is we can use the with statement so here i can write i can just modify it you can see so i'm going to write here with and then i'm just directly going to write open and inside our curly inside our uh, double quotes i'm going to give the path so d inside my d double backslash documents and then double backslash python and here double backslash let's say test.txt and then we are going to give the mode which is inside again the double quotes which is uh, let's say uh, read mode and then and then i'm going to write here as f and then colon so now what this has happened is whatever i'll write the program it, it is going to work the same as the previous f command. So it is going to work same as this command, which is f equals to uh, open. And then we specify this directory right here. So it is going to work same as this command. So this is going to work as same as this command. But the difference here is that in this command, you need to close the file every time you open it like this. But in this case, in the with statement, you don't have to close your open file again and again. So whatever I will write inside the indentation of this uh, program, this file, it is going to automatically close it. So 
this way you don't have to close the file again and again. So let us say if I write uh, read here. So if I say here uh, print f dot read. So this is going to uh, open the file. It is going to read the command, the read whatever it is uh, written in this test dot txt. So it should read hi guys, welcome to Coda's Arcade. We love Python. And then it should close it automatically. So we in this case we don't have to write the close command again and again. So let us say if I run this, you can see that this has print this has read the file properly. So we don't have any problem. So it is working fine for us. But in this case, we don't have to close it again and again. So it is going to close it automatically. So this is why we use with a statement so that we don't have to close the file manually again and again. So this is what I wanted to discuss in this video. With this, we have come to an end with this topic, which is file handling in Python. And this was the part three video. I'm going to give all the links in the description below for all the videos. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have followed well. I'll catch you guys in the next one. So this is all about this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. And if you like it, then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts, then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also, like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.